yeah, well, you know, being young and trying to deal with medical stuff, it's kind of overwhelming, uh, especially if there are things you aren't like comfortable talking to your parents about. Um, like one time I had one doctor who made a huge difference for me. Uh, it was my first time going to a gynecologist and I just went to the same place as my mom and I didn't know that her doctor was a guy. And at the time, my mom didn't know that I was a survivor of sexual assault, so <laughs> I did not want to see a male doctor. Um, but when the doctor found out about my past, that I was a survivor, um, he didn't make it weird. <laughs> we talked and he asked me what types of things would help me to feel more comfortable. And so I told him I'd rather see a female provider. And he made that happen for me. Uh, he helped me to switch to a nurse practitioner. So she specialized in helping young people who have experienced sexual assault. Um, and she was connected to other services like mental health providers. And so then I had this whole team of people there for me that I didn't have to go looking for. So I felt safer, like I wasn't facing everything on my own. Trauma-informed care for someone like me is about taking it slow. Uh, the doctors don't rush through their checklist and, you know, they ask me for my permission a lot to help me feel like I'm in control of my own body. They explain why they're asking certain questions and they go over all the options with me. And I think it's helpful when my doctor gives examples of common questions um, because sometimes, like, I don't even know what to ask. It's crucial to have providers who get it, who understand what we're going through and who make us feel heard and safe. You know, I really wish every young person could have trauma-informed care because no one should have to face this stuff alone.